So this was a project that happened in 2001. There were a number of different uh, partners that got together with Fort White, uh, Nelson Environmental, Ducks Unlimited, and it was the first type of system of, of this kind in Winnipeg. And it involves one discharge of liquid into the lake, but with evaporation and use by plants, that has not historically had to happen every single year. So I don't know if you can see in behind me here through the really dense willows, but there is some bubbling water in, in the back here with some duckweed, that green stuff all over the surface. This is one of two aeration ponds that we have that accept our wastewater from our public washroom. Anything that's used in the reception building or when we're under operation in the interpretive center that travels underground and is pumped into these two ponds for treatment. So keeping that bubbler going helps things to break down. The goal in these two ponds is for breakdown of carbon containing compounds. Let's move down and we can take a look at the second pond. It has a little bit less willow growth around it, so it's a little bit easier to see. I can see this one a little bit better. The aeration in this one is a little bit slower, so it isn't bubbling as much as that one. Things are settling out a little bit more. So uh, because I do the water quality monitoring here, I have tested over the years the water from this pond and the water from our next pond for total phosphorus. The level in here in terms of milligrams per liter total phosphorus is usually somewhere between two and three milligrams per liter. So that's pretty high. I'll take you down to the last pond so you can see that one because it looks quite different from these two. With this pond here, the water gets pumped into it every fall. So all summer things are happening in these ponds. Uh, come about October, our site manager will move water from the second pond into this pond. I'm always testing this pond too to see what the phosphorus levels are in it and just giving these plants a chance to grow over the summer tends to bring down the level of phosphorus at least about 90%. Those are the three ponds of the wastewater treatment and then in the back there is Lake Devonian which is the end route of where this goes. And then in addition, the water from Lake Devonian actually goes into our toilets in the building to be used as toilet water. So we're conserving drinking water for drinking and using just lake water. It's really fascinating when I started doing the testing here to actually take a sample from that one and from this one and, and look at the numbers. And it's, it's a 90% drop in phosphorus levels. Wetlands do remove nutrients from, from the water in this type of system works really, really well.